isang oras ng kwentuhan na may kabuluhan. Di lang sila ang bibida, pati ikaw kasama. Join, Join na sa Samahang Bidang Bida! Hey, magandang magandang umaga friends, romance and countrymen. Yes. Ito po ang Samahang Bidang Bida, samahan kami hanggang alas 11 ng umaga. Ako po si Robert. At ako naman si Crystal. Bagong semester, bagong partner, di ba? Yes. Mm-hmm. First <laughs> Ay, nung, time. Mm-hmm. Nung Monday, uh, binisita natin yung mga bagong ating bebes. Na ah, mga yes. freshies. Na, nagkaroon ng uh, university freshmen, welcome, welcome assembly, assembly. dyan sa... Uh, theater, yes, sa theater natin. Theater. Mm, lahat po ng mga freshies, shifties, and transfers din yata kasama doon mm-hmm. ay winelcome ng buong UP. Hello, yes. welcome sa pahirap na... <laughs> <laughs> Maganda uh-oh. na kayo sa isang mm-hmm. taon na Apat na taon. Oh, oh. Iba, lima pa. Ay, oh. Iba, umabot ng sham. Oo, swertihan talaga dito. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, oh, at, at least, uh, swerte pa rin. <laughs> welcome to... Marami namang dapat ikaproud pag pumasok ka dito. Mm-hmm. Eh. Oh, yung recent ka, nanalo tayo ng... Uh, yes. Oh, unang pagkapanalo sa... Friends. After ng 20-ish. na streak Mm-mm. na 20, talo 27 oo uh-huh. yon nanalo ang uh, UP Fighting Maroons wala pa lang pa yes <laughs> <laughs> at uh, nanalo sila laban sa Adamson Adamson University. University. Yung Adamson, wala pa rin silang panalo hanggang mm-hmm. ngayon. Tayo na kaisa na. <laughs> yes. Go UP Fight! <laughs> the Fighting Maroons basketball team were the toes of the University of the Philippines community this past weekend Mm-mm. after they ended a 27-game losing spell in the UAP. With a victory mm-hmm. over Adamson. Now, tapos, ito pa. Bag prior to the match with Adamson, mm-hmm. nangako ang coach. Na, oo, oh, oh, may na, pangako yung coach. Oo, oh, oh, na mag, pag nanala daw tayo sa, sa laban na yun, ay magkakaroon ng bonfire, bonfire celebration. celebration. And it happened. Yes. <laughs> Saan nga? Sa, sa Sunken Garden. Doon, yeah. oh, sa gitna. Doon sa dili- dito Pumunta sa Diliman Combs. Of course not. <laughs> wow, of course <laughs> hindi, not. Hindi, hindi ako nakapunta kasi nalaman ko na lang siya na tapos na yung bonfire. Oh. So, it was, I wanted to go. Oh, ang layo ng bahay mo eh. Oo. Oh, oh, Sa lakad ka lang, nandun ko lang sa sangkin. <laughs> oh, oh. the, the celebration culminated with a bonfire celebration at the Sunken Garden. Yun nga, uh, nadinaluhan ng uh, studyante, mga alumni, supporters, at balita ako maraming bandang pumunta doon to, oh, to talaga? celebrate. Oh, talaga? May banda pa? Yeah. Nagkaroon nga ng rumors. Natuloy ba yung e-heads to? Hindi, di ba? Yung okay. eraser heads? Pumunta mm. ba sila? Eraser heads? Hindi, no. alam ko hindi sila pumunta doon. Oh, rumor yes. lang na pag pupunta sila ng... ng yung e-heads mag parang yeah. mag reunite sila doon eh hindi naman nangyari. Hindi nangyari. So, so, so alam ko maraming pumunta doon because of e-heads din. Mm. Tapos eto pa may sinabi ang ang, ang team captain ng uh, ng ano tawag nito? Ah, <laughs> Maroon si mm. Moraya. Ano ba? Hindi ko ma-pronounce yung ano niya. <laughs> Gingrich. Tama ba? Ayun, ang galing. <laughs> Sabi niya, minsan nga ano eh, we would go to practice nagutom kami, walang pagkain. But thankfully, because of the support of the alumni and other sponsors, more people want to support the team. So, sana tuloy-tuloy na ang suporta. Mm-mm. Grabe naman to. So, meron palang dinarana sa ganito ang ating basketball team. Mahirap no. naman talaga maging varsity, di ba? Oo. You have a lot of sacrifices. Oo, yun. Wow. Oh, oh, yun. Ma- <laughs> varsity ako. Na experience mo yan. Tsaka, oh, oh. Oh, talaga, anong varsity naman? An- di ko alam. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ni uh, UP coach Ray Madrid, mm-hmm. uh, umaasa siya na uh, magiging positive ang takbo ng mga susunod pa na na laro ng UP Maroons. Mm-hmm. Sana, di ba? Tuloy-tuloy na. Malam, ito na talaga yung uh, umpisa ng streak natin. Mga 27 mm-hmm. din na sunod-sunod na panalo. Oo. Kaya? Sana. Uh-oh. Kasi nung last year, nung fresh year ako, I was hope, bago pala ako dito, UAAP and all. Tapos, nag, walang wins that year. So, it's very happy na by my second year, at least my win na yung UAAP, men's basketball team. Tapos, meron isang Twitter account na mm-hmm. ang pangalan niya, did UP win today? Mm. Tapos, sa mga tweets niya lang, puro no. As in, no, 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 no ganun. Ibig sabihin, hitay, na, hitay na nalo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pero nung nakaraang uh, Saturday ito, di ba? Mm. Saturday yun, nag-tweet siya yes. At yes. Uh, thousands of tweets Ma-follow yun. na nga yung Twitter oh, oh. na yun. Ngayon, may bisita tayo ngayong umaga. Yes. Na feeling ko makakapagbigay siya ng insights about uh, sa unang pagkapanala ng, okay. <laughs> ng uh, ating men's, men's basketball, basketball team. team. Ano? At uh, assistant coach daw siya ng... Uh, Women's Volleyball. Aba, talagang Mm-mm. marami siyang masabihin siguro <laughs> pag panala ng basketball Uh-oh. team. Oh, let's all welcome analysis. sa program uh, Sir Ivan Isada. Hello po, maganda umaga. Welcome, sir. Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, panala po tayo ng Sabado. Ano pong uh, sasabi natin? Oh, it's a good win for uh, for UP. Um, for the community, for the UP community. Um, it's uh, it's a very good change of uh, direction towards uh, yun nga, happiness in sports. <laughs> Pero, yes. yeah. But they still have a long way to go. Um, it's just the first win and hindi dapat sila complacent sa ginagawa nila. Mm. Uh, 
Wag mo na magpakakampante, so, eh, di ba? It's not the end, but the beginning of a another challenge na to live up to those wins. Correct. Oh, okay. It's a continuous challenge, actually. Mm-mm. Ano pong, ay pumunta po ba kayo nung ano? Nung bonfire? No, I did no. not go. Because, um, uh, I, for me, it's for them to celebrate and for the UP community. But um, being also a, a mm. var- part of the varsity, um, you know, I have also my opinions on it of um, mm-hmm. celebrating such a big blast. But um, really, um, I think uh, they should have celebrated it as a team, um, mm-hmm. not really towards the whole community. But that's just my opinion, of course. Mm. So, sana mas intimate lang yung ginawa nila for ano, para sila sila rin makapagbanding na maayos din. Mm. Oh, pumunta ba s- kumpleto ba sila nung ano nung bonfire? Pin- I haven't ay, heard. Hindi. Sana kumpleto sila doon. Oo. Ah, si Sir ay nanalo ng ano, ng isa-isang international ay, ito. Ito na. Oh, oh, race. Main event. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pero bago natin i-bring up yung yes. uh, ganung usapin ano. Tingnan muna natin yung kanyang background. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Sa nag ano pong natapos natin ano? Um, I, yeah, so basically just like what they said um Yeah. Um, although volleyball coach ako, Mm-mm. I think we're going to be focusing more of uh, my racing career. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ganun ata yung lumalabas yeah. dito. Yes. But yeah, I am a true, true-blooded UP Maroon. I used to play in the Centennial team of the volleyball. And mm. yeah. Tapos saan po kayo nag, ano, lumaki? Uh, I basically, I did, um, graduate ako dito ng, ano, ng Bachelor of Phys- Physical Education. Mm, and so. just last summer, natapos ko yung Masters ko sa... Human Movement Science. So, wow. assistant professor na ako ngayon for, for UP. Well, technically, baby, by September, official na official na sana yun. Wow. <laughs> Paano yun pa nagsasabay yung hilig nyo sa volleyball mm. and motorsports and other hardcore sports? Hardcore uh, sports. Hardcore sports. <laughs> hardcore sports. <laughs> hardcore sports. Um, well, basically, in, uh, it came from my parents. So, family, I was brought up in a, in a family that did... Uh, Play motorsports. And, well, who do motorsports and, and volleyball. Ah, yeah. So, my parents, okay, my mom and my dad actually met in the UP gym. Mm. So, they were both champions <laughs> of... Uh, the volleyball team and uh, mm. eventually but aside from them being volleyball um, champions here in UP okay um, my dad is also 10 time national rally champion mm. so yeah so he was it national coach for blood. volleyball yeah and he was also um, a rally guy uh, or a racing person so mm. um, yeah it grew on me pero actually hindi ko naman alam in volleyball talaga later na lang yan sa life ko na natuto ako mag volleyball and I was really gunning or wanted to be talagang professional race car driver or rally driver. Uh, uh, sabi niya yung mom and dad niya nag-meet, nag-meet sa, uh, ano, sa gym. May na-meet na po ba kayo? <laughs> ah, pero hindi dito eh. Masyado mo cheese fish dito sa UP. Ah, talaga hey. ba? <laughs> <laughs> ah, sige, mamaya okay pag-usapan natin. <laughs> <laughs> ano pa ba ginagawa niyo? May paano niya napagkakasya yung nagtuturo kayo dito and then yes. marami kayong gustong gawin sa buhay. Yeah, it, it is very... Um, um, difficult to manage uh, well hindi much difficult eventually you get used to it Mm-mm. but yeah I do have a lot of things going on in life um, teaching uh, doing sports motorsports but yeah you have to just set your priorities lang um, in what you can do marami talaga ang gusto gawin medyo Mm-mm. mahirap talaga i-manage siya. but uh, eventually that's something that you learn through being a sportsman and being in the varsity so studies academics stuff like that it's always been in my life so, so just nahu- trying to manage yeah. it always um, that time management mm-hmm. so were there orgs sir na, that you take part that made you discover motorsports more um, or? no it was just more of really just uh, being family. with the family yeah. family yeah. and it's all you know every race ng dad go before i used to watch it so yeah uh, basically naging addict lang ako. It's, it's, been a, <laughs> it's been a way of life basically not mm-hmm. addict sa, ano, sa drugs, ah. it's yeah. addict sa, sa sports. sports. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Which is a good thing, di ba? Yeah, ako addict din ako sa sports eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Manonood lang, hindi, hindi naglalaro. Hindi ka <laughs> pag-usapan pa natin, kasi motorsports, at hindi ako masyadong ganun ka pamilyang ng gusto. Yeah. So, di ba, alam may natin. At um, mahal ata ito eh. <laughs> Feeling ko <laughs> meron siyang uh, medyo pride siya. Let's get to know that more sa pagbabalik natin. But before that, huwag kalimutang sagutan ng post alarm namin para sa linggong ito. Ang aming punta nung, ano ang dream car mo? Mm. If you have answers, send them to facebook.com slash samahang bidambida or uh, text us. Or text us at 0927-220-833. Balik pang samahang bidambida dito lang sa DZUP 1602. Kasali ka! Masayang usapan at matalinong talakayan. Nagpabalik ang samahang bidambida.
And we're back here in Samahang mm-hmm. Bidang Bida. Samahang ulit kami. Hanggang 11 tayo today. Yeah. 11 p.m. Uh, ay, gusto talaga, <laughs> Hanggang gabi araw, no? Ako po si Robert. At ako naman si Crystal. Sama natin Sir Ivan. Mm-hmm. At uh, pag-uusapan natin ng mga ilang bagay-bagay mula. Bula. Tungkol Bula. sa motorsport. So, oh. so, nasabi niya kanina na influence naman na uh, mostly yeah, by family the family thing. thing. <laughs> oh, I think uh, mukhang mayaman ang kalang family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> motorsport. <laughs> Pero, is it, mahal, no? Yeah, is yes. it true? It is actually very expensive. That's why, um, eh, lalo na sa, well, uh, I am a teacher here and you know naman siguro yung mga rates natin, di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, it is quite expensive. And it's not something that I can do all the time. So mm. really, kailangan nga, nga time management, looking a bit for sponsors, helping actually from. I'm swear to you, swear to you, because second generation race car driver na ako, so I have full support also of my parents. But Mm-mm. yeah, they can only give as much only. So it's not a full time thing. Um, and lately, since I'm pretty much working, I'm the one who's paying for the expenses. Yeah. Na and for the, the career, the hobby, oh. okay, the passion, yun nga. The first right to race champion of Michelin. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah. Michelin. Michelin. Yeah. Michelin. <laughs> so, you know, it's like that. Michelin Pilot Sport Experience. What happened there, sir? What happened there? Oh, well, basically, um, it's funny. For supposedly a race car driver, um, mm. I did join an online game. Um, this is something online? I teach. I do have a P2 motorsports class for oh, offered yeah. in, uh, yeah. in, um, in UB. Mm-mm. And this is something... Um, I was also telling my students that um, you don't have to also go into a real career. Sometimes there are chances or opportunities out there. Mm-mm. And well, since nobody was taking that opportunity, I tried it out myself. Won the in- online game. It was an online game. Online. Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you do that? Um, there's a program that you have to draw racing lines and stuff like that. Reaction time, testing of reaction time, <laughs> testing of braking. So it's kind physics of complicated lang? also. Oh, <laughs> complicated. Oh, Major <laughs> physics <lang. Teka>. But <laughs> so, so, kumbaga, um, the pr- people who will be winning over there are people who are knowledgeable also about the motorsports. Mm-hmm. So I tried it out. Um, tried it out once. Mukhang okay naman yung time ko. Um, yung progress ko. And then after that, I just kept checking out every day, making sure I was there. Mm-mm. And yun nga, until finally, and deadline na, nanalo pala ako. So eventually, Michelin brought us to Malaysia. And mm. we got to drive Formula 4 cars, touring cars, rally cars. So it's real race cars, real rally cars. Um, and it's sponsored basically by the biggest, one of the biggest tire brands oh. around. And Michelin actually does a lot of, uh, well, they work with all the factory racing teams mm-hmm. and world racing mm-hmm. teams so Ferrari Lamborghini oh, well, Iba. Yeah, Aston Martin no. Audi so talagang <laughs> big, big, big time oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's big, big time talaga yun, ano, in Winya so yeah it's, it's, it's a very nice experience and after Malaysia after Malaysia well um, yeah I, when I eventually won it um, they, had, they kept on saying that there was a grand prize Mm-mm. And the grand prize was actually a trip naman to France. Oh. So I so, yeah, so for, for, when it for two lang for two. For lang. T- I, I, I like sama. <laughs> gusto ko sana dalhin yung buong community. Oh, nga, <laughs> 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 community. Yeah. But community. But yeah, I kailangan i-share ko lang sa Facebook. So wag sana kayo maingit and uh, you know, don't be jealous. Nakawan niya na po. Hindi pa po eh. Um, we'll see pa on um, I have yet to talk to they have yet to debrief me the mission in group. Um, but yeah, eventually I'll be meeting up with them. And yeah, so, tignan natin. Sino pa yung sama nyo? Um, kailangan tatay ko eh. Ah, <laughs> you know, I have to give it back so also to my, love, to my dad. Mm-mm. I'd like, yun nga eh. Marami syempre nagko-complain dyan sa ano, or <laughs> gusto nagpaparinig, pero wala. Ay, it has to, pa. yeah, it has to, you know, my, I have to offer a lot to, to, my, to the person who actually got Mm-mm. me there. The one so, who inspired yes. you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, yan. Bukod po dito, ano pang ibang competition sang nasalihan nyo? Um, this wa- last December, I also joined a rally in Malaysia. Um, that was on my own expense. I was uh, somebody helped me from a Malaysian helped me from a uh, they bali, they lent out their car and mm. I was able to drive it there. So I was basically looking for a career also outside um, the Philippines. Wala na kasing rallies dito. Wala, I don't uh. join really competitions anymore here. I join a few, but it's just to enjoy it's na lang. Not yeah, really it's not anymore very and it, yeah, and it's not on the high competition level already mm. as like before. So usually I help out also on officiating races 
uh, international races and stuff like that. But um, yeah, basically so, it's just me spreading out the word. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, motorsports. There's motorsports. Join it. Try it. Mm-hmm. Um, get inspired and maybe be a race car driver. Why not? So most of these competitions happen in Malaysia, or um, there are a lot of international races in Malaysia. And why I chose Malaysia, or why Malaysia is always there, because they're always bringing it uh, international standards. Mm. So they really like foreigners going into their country and joining. Because um, there's a real business side also to the motorsports scene. So Mm-mm. tourism, um, uh, yeah. you know, there's also a lot of marketing that happens, a lot Mm-mm. of media, a lot of communication. And of course, in some motoring world, there's a lot of research and development that happens. So yeah, also road safety. So. Yeah, road safety. Road safety. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a topic about that one? Uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. road safety. With your years of experience, um, what has motorsports taught you so far? Um, it's taught me a lot. It actually has molded me to the person who I am today. Mm. Okay, so if not for motorsports, I wouldn't have gotten my confidence, my self-esteem. Um, so mm. it's helped me a lot. Um, yeah, and uh, um, a lot of values, of course, um, being honest, stuff like that. Um, being on the limit all the time but just being just on that limit okay, not going seeding over it being honest pa- pa- ah, being honest. Sa, ano? well Mars. if you're not honest with yourself um, you'll keep on getting into accidents also mm. meaning oh. kung linuloko walang sarili mo na mabilis ka <laughs> magaling ka you know, you'll most probably get into an accident linig mo yan yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wag mo loloko yung sarili mo Robert. kasi ikaw lang naman yung nagloloko oh, sa sarili mo hindi eh, ko nasabi yung sarili kong pangit ako kailangan hindi ko niloloko yung sarili ko ganyan oh, ganyan oh, ganyan diba Oh, ganyan. So, ano yung pinag-usapan yung road safety? Yes. Oh, nagkagawin na po ba kayo ng injuries sa lahat accidents. ng mga races? Accidents. accidents, I've had it on uh, the race racing world only, on my careers. Mm. Um, on the road, just a few bumps here and there because, um, you know, scratches of the car, which... Pero nothing major. Nothing uh, major. Yeah. Siguro yung pinaka-major lang or pinaka-scare was that maybe a pedestrian ran into my car. Pero... Uh- I a pedestrian <laughs> running your car, uh, not yeah, your yes, car yes. to a Basically, pedestrian. Basically, about Fisha, she was um, picking up something. It was on the road, not competition. Not competition. Okay. <laughs> I was scary. going to school. Okay, Actually, she was just outside of my house. So when I went out of the gate, um, she was picking something up. She was coming from jogging. I was on the other side of the road already, mm-hmm. overtaking. And she... Yeah, she basically uh, went towards the car, not knowing it was there. What? But uh, I'm oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, because she was also wearing naman a an Ear- earphones, ah, yeah. ah. which yeah. is very dangerous, especially yung mga joggers mm-hmm. wearing earphones and stuff like that. You do have to be conscious of what's happening around. So she was wearing earphones, of course. Hindi kana hindi kana makapagawa sa kanya or you know can tell her off. She's older. She's also mm-hmm. you know surely she got hurt and she's uh, scared of everything. Also, she's traumatized. So yeah, I just let her burst out na lang and ako na lang nakinig and uh, hopefully okay. n- did not get sued by anything. Uh, uh, hindi naman malalayo. Pero injuries. there's no injuries naman. Actually, yeah, actually nakakainis lang rin kasi she was limping <laughs> after, you know, telling everybody that uh, I'm a really bad driver. Oh. Ayun na. <laughs> Weird. Okay, but uh, eventually, you know, you don't she, know a thing. she she after I told one of um um the family members to look out and watch if she could walk going back home because I offered her to go and get an ambulance but eventually she was walking fine afterwards so you know um, yeah sometimes in these situations you do also have to be very careful also ano ano po na feel pag halimbawa every time nasasalang kayo sa race na mm-hmm. kasi diba parang every time naka uh, ano expression na lang nakalubog isang paa mo sa something yes yeah, something yeah, sa hukay I, I, I do <laughs> always have to make a, a simple prayer of course um, yeah and I always keep myself as much as possible um on the ground meaning kailangan conscious ako sa ginagawa ko all the time mm-hmm. um, and then um, yeah I just race na lang anything anyway I am um, eventually through the years I become confident naman with the skill that I have but I only drive within my limits nga I never drive although marami nag-aakala na you drive always on the limit Mm-mm. you don't and uh, that's why yun nga even in that Michelin pilot sport experience Mm-mm. Um, that's actually what they were looking for drivers because it wasn't a real race it was being evaluated by top European and Asian drivers Ooh. so evaluation siya. so kumbaga they were looking if are you consistent are you safe are you fast uh, are you... so it wasn't only about speed yes it wasn't just all about speed it was more of the whole package nga of um, nga, being a race car driver, driver. <laughs> in terms of talent and skill okay. what's your fastest which one um, on the road ever 
Ever? Uh, sa ever. race. A race. Oh. Eh, sarang duhulihin ka sa common road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 60, 60 kilometers 60. per hour lang uh-huh. dyan. Uh, with a warning ko lang lahat ng mga dumadaan sa Commonwealth. Okay. <laughs> 60 <But>, lang yan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but on the race, um, the speeds can reach up to 200 kilometers 200? per hour. Yeah. Blend Hindi pa ako maabot ng more than that. Okay? Um, siguro 220, 230 was the fastest siguro. But um, um, over going up to reaching 300, pang Formula 1 na yan. Tsaka pang Grabe top 300. Formula 1. Oh. But usually, na nakikita sa <laughs> yeah, but usually in the race car you don't feel it ne, because the car is very well structured, mm. so you don't feel the speed, and you're not going to dare actually looking at the speedometer also at that speed, because <laughs> it will only psych you out. <laughs> but you can still see where you're going. Oh, of Kahit... course, of course. You, anyway, when you do drive, usually you look at the farthest point all the time. You don't look mm. at somewhere near. If you start noticing the in surroundings, yo, oh, oh, mabilis na yun, halos pala. blur na lang lahat siya. Mm. But if you start looking far all the time. Then um, yeah, you'll always know where you're going to go. So as long as mm. where you're looking at the the trick there is usually a speed secret, is what we call it. Mm. Is um oh, I see yeah, you look you <laughs> look <laughs> the farthest all the time, okay? And then Mm-mm. um wherever you're looking at, that's where you're going to go, basically. Parang life. Bilan sa <laughs> <Yes>. So <laughs> bilan sa So basically, don't look at the wall, because baka you might end up in an accident there. Don't look at the tire barriers. Don't look at the whatever. Okay, the cliff if you're running on a rally. So be sure you're looking at the road and looking where you want to go. Iba din. Mm-hmm. Iba din. Ah, kinakabahan pa rin kayo every time. Na mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a point. It's only na- normal. It's only natural. Kailangan may fear parati yan eh. If you mm-hmm. go over those fears, um, yeah, like I said, lilalo ako wala walit sarili mo. Oh, so, lilalo ako wala. So, hindi pa yung no fear. Your fear will be your limit, basically. So, mm-hmm. you have to listen to it properly because that's already a telltale sign of uh, mm-hmm. how you're going to perform. But not to the point na yung fear na talaga yung Yes. You don't, you. In short, wag kayong pap- pipindot ng panic button. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Before I go to break, ano pong uh, uh, kaiba, ano po yung nakukuha nyo sa motorsports na feeling nyo hindi nyo makukuha sa ibang sports? Um, Koche. Well, <laughs> <laughs> <Koche. Yes. laughs> well, of course, uh, one thing with motorsports is that um, hanggang sa end, you can always keep on doing it. Unlike um, in some mo- sa regular na, na sports, sports you'll have a limit because your 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 body you eventually age. Um, when you're on the car, you're not doing too much stress. Mm-mm. Okay, so you can still even join you know amateur and amateur races still enjoy it. Um, and yeah, marami kang, like I said, uh, everything that I am today in uh, motorsports has been very good to me. And that's what it has been offering. Mm-hmm. Iba din. Buhay na din niya talaga. Uh, oh, buhay pag, talaga siya. Pag, pag, motorsports is mm-hmm. life. Yes. Uh, later, kung uh, mga issues naman about motorsports. Yeah. And uh, let's look at the bigger picture. At uh, sasali na ako bukas ng mga rallies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wag yun ano, what kind of rallies? Sa amin di wala. Okay, huwag sa liwa kalimutan sagutan ng pause alarm namin yeah. na noong Dreamcar mo at bakit. Send your answers to facebook.com slash samahambidambida or tweet us via twitter.com slash sbb underscore dzup1602. Or text us at 0927-220-8332. O magbabalik pong samahambidambida dito lang sa dzup1602. Kasali ka! Masayang usapan at matalinong talakayan. Nagpapalik ang Samahang Bidang Bida. At nagbabalik po ang Samahang Bidang Bida. Dito pa rin sa DZUP 1602. Ako po si Robert. At ako naman si Crystal. Patalas na mula sa Orange Man of the Future campaign ng Lamudi Philippines. Abangan mm. ng isang daang Orange Man of the Future mula sa Lamudi Philippines. Makisabay na sa kanilang dance moves at makiselfie sa Lamudi Orange Man sa iba't ibang MRT stations mm-hmm. at Central Business District sa Metro Manila. Sumama na sa pagkakalat ng Good Vibes sa Biyagnes, August 15 mula alas 6 hanggang alas 10 ng umaga at alas 6 hanggang alas 10 ng gabi. Ito inihahandol ng Lamudi Philippines sa kikipagtulungan ng DZUP 1602 Kasali ka. Alright, we're back to sa Mahang Bida Bida. Again, kasama pa rin natin si uh, Sir Ivan yes. na maraming uh, race cars. <laughs> <laughs> maraming race Habagat cars. Nakatambak lang na daw sa, sa garage. garage. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ilan, Sir? Um, well, they're all road-going cars now except for one kasi hindi mm. siya street legal. So, yeah, I have one car there. Um, a race car. The other one, yun nga, road legal siya ngayon. Road legal. Yeah, yeah. So, binalik na namin sa from race car to stock car. So, maraming nagkaakala na, you know, it's permanent race car na siya. Pero, most of the cars that we use, we put Are it back. Legal. Yeah, we put it back also to life uh. again. So, after its racing career, pag hindi na siya parating ginagamit, 
balik siya for everyday car ulit. Mm. Mm. Mas marami pa rin ako. What? <laughs> Ay, okay. <laughs> Apat yun sa akin. Apat yun sa akin. What so, can you say? What can you say about motorsports as a sport sa Philippines? Um, motorsports, there's a lot of potential for talent. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, um, Saan siya pa punta kaya? Outlet, walang... Um, the problem is the sustainability of the sport. Oh? Yeah, sustaining the sport is always going to be a problem. Um, let's say, yun nga, in sa rallies namin, we don't have rallies anymore. Sometimes, may mga a few races here and there. We'll try to bring it up. Mm-hmm. But it's very difficult to sustain because um, people aren't... There's not much enough followers also. Actually, mm-hmm. the problem is... There's not enough media or education about the motorsports. motorsports. Yeah, and also yun nga nagpo-progress na yun yun country. Mm-mm. So, medyo mahirap na rin maghanap ng public roads to to use it to um, may papayag ng mga government Edsa. officials. Edsa. <laughs> Edsa. Oh <my> <laughs> Dati, ganun, something like that. Um, but uh, let's say um, for the circuit racing naman, bali race car, wheel to wheel racing. Mm. Um, there are a few um, there's two race circuits. Um, and sometimes it's becoming very expensive also for to run the races. Mm-mm. So it, it's it's millions to to build up a race track. So kailangan rin syempre may may return investment rin nangyayari yun. So mm-hmm. minsan nahihirapan rin to get privateers into into motorsports also. Mm-mm. So kailangan sana yun nga kailangan rin ma-educate sana yun or hindi ma-educate pero malaman rin ng ng corporate um companies or big big companies that um they can actually invest, it's a good, yes, invest in it and make it make it a good marketing tool also. Actually help also from the government in yun last Ah, uh, you motorsports ba para talaga siya sa mga may may pera? Well, technically that is the stereotype of it. But, but hindi naman kailangan it's all not the time. The limit. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi let's say me when I compete, um the reason why I also don't compete already um, locally, uh, I don't compete um, um, all out or professionally already. It's because I'm trying to also spread out the word na you can compete on low level cars. I'm competing now with a stock car. It's ev- it's an everyday car. It's my dad's car. Okay, <laughs> he uses it every day to work. <laughs> so that's the car I bring. Okay, and then after that, that's what I compete with. So pwede rin yun. Bios ma- ganyan. Oh, Honda City actually. Mm. It's a it's a it's a plain Pina stock car. Compete? Yeah. Paano? And I do win on the <laughs> lower levels lang naman. Ah. Meaning, um, so it's not yeah. the And usually, sa, sa group namin, we're all the same. Mm. The adrenaline is there. Mm. We, I still get the same the same uh, competitive <laughs> feeling and everything. It's not as fast, but you do have to be more precise. Kasi Mm-mm. you make a mistake in the slow car, the slower pa you will go. So, hindi na siya masaya pag mas mabagal pa. <laughs> mabagal na nga yung kotse, mas mabagal pa mangyayari. But um, you can compete on a budget. You can compete, um, you don't have to. Kasi usually, people get intimidated mm. with all the race cars, the real race cars, the noise, the sound. Pahiramin ko na lang sila. <laughs> <laughs> Tama <Okay>. yun. <laughs> Sino yung mga may potential talagang maging racer? Yeah. Oh. Anong qualities na dapat nilang meron sila? Um, well, talent is always one. Wala na, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you do have to have the passion for it. I started out in computers, to tell you frankly, mm, not just no. watching watching uh, my dad and everything or yeah. my uncle's race. Pero yeah, I started out in computers. Of course, I wasn't legal enough to drive a car, so I started out with the PlayStation, mm. and which is why a lot of people now are asking, why are the kids very fast nowadays? Mm. It's because actually they already are you know um, practicing trained. oh yeah <laughs> trained on the computer but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be good also right away yeah. on the real thing so training lang siya only to a certain level only to a certain, a certain part level. but uh yeah qualities the talent is one the other one is uh managing yourself doing these kinds of interviews looking for sponsors the business side of it mm. kompleto ka rin dun. also is um yeah giving feedback and being a team team player also um with the basically a racing team or with your group of friends kasi mm-hmm. you know you do the rest the mechanic you have to be close to kasi siya mag-aayos ng kotse mo oh, so he's mm-hmm. going to technically Pag your life is <laughs> oh, <laughs> your life depends on him also okay and uh, yeah you do have to have also a support group talaga ah, so my community kaya dito like motorsport yes we do have a community it's small it's uh, mostly everybody knows each other also mm-hmm. pag um, nagbumol sila ng community niya parang naka-race <laughs> <laughs> yung buong parking oh, lot level oh, lang it does happen sometimes pag uh, lumalabas yeah parang ganun nga minsan 
Totoo pala. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. Parada ng ano. <laughs> May posibilidad kayang maging uh, mainstream yung yung motorsports like basketball kung paano siya pinapalabas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, one thing with motorsports is that there's always a big side of business into it talaga. Kasi mm-hmm. sa cars, you'll always see the cars have a lot of stickers, colors, and everything. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's nice to watch. It's a pleasant It's a pleasure to watch a race all the time, even mm-hmm. if you're not very interested in it yet. But just seeing the cars, parang wait, maganda tong you know the venue, the atmosphere is very nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's uh it's something nice to watch. Um, yeah. Masaya lang. So, yeah. Masaya, masaya oh. talaga siya. <laughs> Meron po kayo motorsports na PE, no? Yes, I do teach uh, motorsports in uh, yeah. in UP. It's mm-hmm. it's a very unique class. Uh-huh. Other okay. universities don't May have it. May mga nakapila mm-hmm. pa magpiprirog. Ay, <laughs> 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 naabangan nila kayo. Naabangan na. Uh-huh. Yeah, I actually, I still do accept pirog. Basta may kotse kayo. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> Requirement na yun. Oh, medyo elitista kasi in sport ko. Eh. Oh. Oh, maraming kotse si Robert. Nakabila ko sa Toy Kingdom kahapon. <laughs> <laughs> so, anong uh, paano kaya tinitingnan ng mga estudyante ang motorsports ngayon? Ng mga estudyante ngayon? Um, I don't really know how they look at it um, the first time around. Most of them are curious what it is. Um, but eventually, I assure them that when they get out of the class or when they're done with the class, they already know more or a lot. It's Mm-mm. something very new. So, actually, what they're getting out of the class is something that... Um, Well, on a career level or um, on my side of uh, teaching motorsports, usually mga, that's already the cheapest would be around 3,000 pesos to yeah, it reaches up to 15,000 pesos internationally. Mm-hmm. Mas mahal pa. So, for sure, a scholar ng bayan, um, <laughs> libre na sa kanila yan. <laughs> <okay>? <laughs> um, eventually, yun lang. So, hoping that they also one day um, support um, motorsports and they also maybe consider themselves being in the industry also has your class um inspired students na some of your students yes um some students also eventually get into the career of motor racing also Mm-mm. um some already have started and they just want more they also want more knowledge Mm-mm. the others well um you'll see them uh, they're very um um actually to do that online racing Mm-mm. actually I was I was did, 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 I was inspired actually by a student because a student has won already I have a student in my first year who has actually won a competition or a contest on the online. in the online Mm-mm. thrice ah, thrice. Thrice. thrice okay oh. and, same, um, the same one no not the same one there's uh-huh. a lot of other ano din eh. uh, but still about motorsports <laughs> yes still about motorsports uh-huh. so sabi ko paano na He won basically trip to Singapore twice, wow. trip to Malaysia twice, ah uh, once. So <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of opportunity out there, and it's online. It's going, everything's going online, na rin. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, so sabi ko why why don't why not I try it also? Sabi ko magaling siya, UP student rin naman ako. <laughs> <laughs> so no, naman. why not try it also, de ba? May chance ba na maging uh, institution ng UP as a uh, Uh, motorsports ano community uh, oh I, I'd love Supporter. that to happen you know but um, one one thing there is that uh, kailangan sana that would be nice working also with the engineering college kasi mm. really um, there's the, um, a college in engineering Um, yeah. In other countries, they really have a school for of motorsports, and it's usually mm. towards mechanics, um, oh, technical, the technical stuff. Yeah, um, I chose human kinetics because I wanted to teach actually motorsports. I wanted it to get it into the athlete side or the driver's side, mm. naman. So specific talaga. Yun gusto sa But mm. yeah, it's not actually happening um, soon. Fully, I mean, it is <laughs> happening. There's a start, but yeah. to really make it big. Um, That's that's the difficult part, pa. Of course, there's mm-hmm. always a challenge, naman. So this is your first step teaching motorsports. Yes, it's always been a dream. I never mm-hmm. knew that I'd be doing it on a university. Mm. Um, I've already started before with a small. I had a racing school before, but it was uh, short-lived because um, I didn't need sponsors also to mm-hmm. back me up and help me. And being a full-time teacher ako dito sa UP, so yeah. I also have other sports like volleyball swimming. and swimming. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> where you were my students. Yeah, previous student. Yes. yes. So yon. So alam niya na. Oo nga. What other institutions do you think ang makatulong sa pagsuporta sa motorsports? Hmm. Um. 
Depth more of the <laughs> <laughs> actually uh, um, more of um, those who are considering uh, road safety nga. so maybe um, ano ba? MMDA, MMDA. MMDA. LTO, LTO okay LTO ah, yeah. uh, Department of uh, Public Works and Highways okay, these uh, institutions yeah they uh, that's Red Cross pag may accident of course <laughs> actually Mero, there's the medical side is a big part of oh, motorsports also mm-hmm. so yeah these Tama, are, it's nice to collaborate also um, yun nga, countries actually use motorsports, mm? okay, actually to up their tourism. Mm. So that's also, DOT would be also be nice. So tourism talaga, if that's why they have Formula One on other countries. Kasi once you have Formula One, your country is basically highlighted that it can run on international and the top level of motorsports. So mm. malaking bagay yun. So mga um, nakisimula pa lang po, ano po pwede nalang salihan sa mga noobs? Um, mm-hmm. There's a slalom ra- racing, gymkhana, those parking lot races. Mm-hmm. Ordinary cars. Like race sa parking lot? Yes. May cones siya. <laughs> <laughs> may cones siya. Bale, May cones. Ah. Ah. And, yeah, and then after that, um, usually first gear, second gear lang siya. Low speed, pero high technical skill. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also amateur circuit racing. Um, mm-hmm. So meron, when they go to the racetrack, and then after that, timed lang siya. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman wheel to wheel, but of of course once they're used to that one, meron na yung next next level wherein they can already go wheel to wheel and then yung rules don bawal magbanggaan. Mm. So yun, maraming ano. So there's a lot of people offering that one also uh, here in the country. So do you have any inspirational message to those who are aspiring to be racers? Well, like if you're me. a student, <laughs> <laughs> be sure you study well because uh, a lot of funds are going uh. to be coming from you first. That's Mm-mm. for sure. And so, if you get, do get first. yeah, if you do get a car, um, don't break it. Okay, as much as possible, <laughs> stay on the road. Don't uh, yeah, try to stay within your limits first, <laughs> and then eventually, because uh, you're getting better, yun nga, your skill will actually build up your confidence also. So do it slowly. Um, mm-hmm. Anyway, I don't think you guys are uh, most of the p- people listening maybe don't have a chance of being a Formula One driver anyway. So because mm. they start really young, so. Not unless you're really young, then um, be sure you stick to school and uh, be sure you're good to your parents if you want to be a Formula <laughs> One driver. Oh, but uh, if for parents. the others, um, ano lang, tuloy, tuloy lang. I mean, uh, if you want to work hard, there are dreams. You can build up on that dream if you still want to. Yeah, it's not impossible. There are so many people now. And dami na, parang overrated na ata to be called the race car driver nowadays. Eh. Marami na rin talaga eh. So, mm-hmm. kapogi kaya. <laughs> that, yeah. Well, that is true. Coming well, from. Ay, ay. Iba din talaga. Guess natin eh. <laughs> thank you, Sir Ivan. Yes, thank you. Mamaya yes. sa pagbabalik natin, ano na na, uh, bring it or get post alarm. Yes. Ang tanong natin, ano ang dream car mo at bakit? Send your answers to facebook.com slash samahang bidang bidar tweet us via twitter.com slash sbb underscore dzup 1602. Or contact us at 0927-220-8332. Babalik pa sa mahang bidang bidar dito lang sa dzup 1602. Kasi Salika. Masayang usapan at matalinong talakayan. Nagpapalik ang Samahang Bidang Bida. At tayo po yung nagbabalik ito sa Samahang Bida Bida. Join mm-hmm. us with the last segment of the show. At ito na yung isa sa mga pay- favorite. Fa- favorite? <laughs> Letter <Uh-oh>. fee. Ito na sa mga favorite segments ko sa yeah. ating uh, programa. This is called Bring It Or. Check. X. Um, pass? Sari-saring usapan? Anything under the sun. Let's bring it or! Dito sa Bring It Org, magbabanggit lamang kami ng random concepts o topics at sasabihin lamang ninyo kung anong say ninyo rito. Uh-huh. Sabihin ng check kung agree, X kung hindi, at pass kung ayaw ninyong mag-comment or wala kayong pakialam. Paalala lang na individual insights lamang ang isasagot nyo ay hindi ang buong, at hindi ni-embody ang buong side ng uh, Michelin and all your friends <laughs> out there. Uh, this yes. is all about you and you alone. Okay, uh, first topic. Ito. UP MBT's first win after uh, 27 game losing streak. Check. Next. Dong Yan engaged. Ding Dong and Marian yeah. Rivera. What's that? No. <laughs> <laughs> X. X. <laughs> Chris Aquino and uh, Herbert Bautista reunite no, in talk show. Pa X. Pass. X. Pass. Cinemalaya movies uploaded online. Pass. Next. Mommy Junisha Pacquiao has Pass. new. Bakit? <laughs> 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 na- has new boyfriend. Oh, oh, nga. Pass. 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 Uh, Mariah Carey at Moa Arena on October 28th. 
Ano pong interest niya, sir? <laughs> Motorsports, volleyball. Um, marami. Hindi <laughs> ko mapapass din siya dito. Pass na to. Robin. If it's politics, you know, it's, it's always usually. Ah, sige. Oh, let's go here. Let's go showbiz. <laughs> Robin, Robin Padilla to host talent Adam Pinoy. Same pass. Hmm. Nancy, Nancy B9. B9. Go ahead. Impeach X. my dad. Ah, oh. Ayaw niyo. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, ayaw ko naman itong. Ayaw naman itong isa. Mar Rojas on 2016 elections. X. Uh, Nora Honor wins uh, Cinemalaya Best Actress for Justicia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and last, let's see here. Eto. Business Paul, Senate among worst agencies. Worst Moments notion. of X. silence. <laughs> <laughs> Tatlong segundong dead air para sa Senate. <laughs> Alright, yun naman. Yun eh. <laughs> <laughs> Basahin natin yung uh, mga sagot, sagot? sa ating yeah. post-alarm, ang ating tanong nga, ano ang dream car mo at bakit? Tingnan natin kung ano mga dream car nito. Ikaw ba, anong dream car mo? Kasi gusto ko nga tanong sa inyo, anong dream car nyo? Ikaw Inisip muna, pe. marami kang cars, di ba? Oh Which one is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Text ko lang yung ano ha, nagbabantay ng garage. <laughs> Teka lang. Uh, ano bang dream car ko? Yung na nasa GTA. <laughs> yung mga ano yung nakakongkotso oh, sa GTA. Teka lang. <laughs> Basahin muna natin yung kay Ara na kakyo at sabi niya, ay, touchy naman ito. Yung sasakyan na una kong mabibili para maisakay ko yung mga magulang ko papunta sa kung saan nila gustong pumunta. So, anong, <laughs> so, anong car yun? Basta kahit anong kotse siguro kung saan nila sasakyan yung parents niya. Yeah, Next. Listen. Sunod naman kay A. John Christopher. A foldable and flying car. Batman? <laughs> <laughs> foldable so that it will lessen parking hassles and car nap incidents. And flying, of course, to avoid heavy traffic. And to, af- and to fly abroad too. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Pag nawalag siya ng gas sa air, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Airplane na. Uh, let's see here. Regina Peralta, mga environment-friendly na kotse mm. para daw ano. Tsaka yung mga cute na size daw para madaling yung makamasok electric- sa traffic. Oh, ano ayaw niya daw ng car na sobrang laki. Siyempre, maliit ka. Gusto <laughs> naman. Oh. From here. Leila Meram. Gusto ko yung small cars kasi ang cute nagsistand out pag nasa road. Hindi ka kakasyad ng Leila. <laughs> Dapat malalaking kotse yung kinukuha mm-hmm. mo. From uh, Bea, Bea. Devesa. Paano pa na pronounce? Ba't naman kasabihan ano to? Ba? Bugatti? Tama Buga- ba? Bugatti. Yeah, Bugatti. Bugatti. <laughs> Bugatti. 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 Because sports car daw sobrang onti lang ng models nito. Or Kia Soul, small car, pero nice to use if mag-ikot-ikot lang sa city. Hmm, sana, bike ka na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Christine Gisalva, a sports car that is environment-friendly, economical, at either bright red or yellow para nice. ba- wow, para out. commercial lang ng biscuit yung <laughs> sports car yung <laughs> red. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko na ako binanggit eh, ito masyado <laughs> <kayo>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sabi ni sorry. Lara Dulay, a yellow Hummer because, Hummer, <laughs> Hummer. <laughs> because it looks so, ano, Bad so, ass. Tingnan mo yan. <laughs> so, ano, oh maangas. Mm. Oo, on the road. Gusto ko binabasa mo talaga yung mga ayaw kong basahin. <laughs> kayo, sir, may mga kotse pa ba kayong ano, na wala pa kayo pero gustong gusto siya makuha? Like, oh. bukas na bukas din. Well, feeling nyo, marami akong kotse kasi race car driver, but Mm-mm. I only have my own personal car. It's a Honda Civic. But, uh, dream car, um, syempre, rally car pa rin, race car pa rin. Gusto ko na, ano. So, mm. yeah. Asan yung, ano, yung... Di ba yung mga race car mga magugulo sila? Yung pintura. Ay, oh, <laughs> magulo nga yun. Mas colorful. <laughs> Ikaw, Christelle? Ako? Hindi, ako na lang. Ayaw. <laughs> okay, ayaw. Wala akong maisip eh. Hindi ko man, di ako particular sa cars. Pero gusto ko yung malaki kasi five family. O oh, sige, yung mga tatak na uhulihin ko logo sa Maynila. <laughs> Nakaka-practical pala ng mga tao dito. Eh. <laughs> Isa lang nga sum- humirit ng uh, Bugatti. Dating na Innova lang gusto ko. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba? May, yung kotse ni Justin Bieber. Ano ba yun? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Basta yun. Nakita ko lang yung picture niya. Basta hanapin niya cool. sa Instagram ni Justin Bieber. Ang cool nung picture niya. May gusto kayong pasalamatan, batiin, or mm-hmm. pagsabihan yes. na I love you? Um, I'd like to pasalamatan. thank, of course, um, Michelin for um, yeah the opportunity uh, to go to Malaysia and drive their cars. Also, yun nga, going to Le Mans, which is the next step um, to, well, actually, be, be, being my ult- being an ultimate spectator. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, so, yun. And, of course, in parents ko, um, family um, everybody who was um, in the Facebook liking congratulating me salamat um, and uh, yun nga of course mm. uh, oh cheese mees cheese mees to all the girls out the, there the, 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 the <laughs> 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 girlfriends <laughs> girlfriend lang um, mm-hmm. yun so thank you for yeah, supporting me my cousins helping me with, you know, with the cameras and stuff mm-hmm. so yun Uh, so, di mo sinama sa France. Oh, yun nga. <laughs> yeah, I also like to pray, uh, thank uh, personally sila 
Mike and uh, Carol from the Michelin, si Prof Tessa mm-hmm. Hasmines and Ingrid. Oh, okay, yeah, they're actually uh, mm-hmm. working with Michelin also. Mm-hmm. Um, I think in sa marketing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, they're always inviting me to other yeah. uh, stuff uh, events also. So yeah, thank you also. Um, yun. So and also of course all the people there in the Michelin uh, Michelin group internationally. Yeah, mm-hmm. from just the the instructors to the people behind it um, thanks very much yan maraming mm-hmm. maraming salamat din po sir Ivan yes. sa pagbisita yes. sa amin dito uh-huh. at magpasalamat din ako kay Pepsi Herrera for my wow Oy, <laughs> mga hair and makeup oh. Oh. <laughs> again maraming salamat po sa lahat ng tumutok yeah. ngayong Wednesday yes, samahan ulit kami next Wednesday para sa isa pang uh, isang oras na naman ng uh, lokohan joke na <laughs> <laughs> na usapan na, ng mga ganito oh. abangan ng talatugtugan susunod na kasama si Jets bukas naman bahagi ng boses ng estudyante strip ang uh, ikaw naman Mm-mm. 10 to 11 a.m. at uh kung meron kayong message sa amin, send nyo lang yan sa facebook.com slash samahangbidangbida. Ako po si Robert. At ako naman si Crystal. Kayo po ay nakikinig sa DZUP 1602. Kasali ka! Usapang mahalaga at kwentuhang masaya. Napakinggan ninyo sa Samahang Bidang Bida. Kita-kits, buddies! <laughs>